Hey, what's up everybody? I'd like to welcome you to another Juice tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to talk a little bit about the Juice namespace. In Juice 6, the Juice team have decided to make it mandatory by default to use the Juice namespace before you instantiate any Juice classes or objects. Now the question is, what does that mean for you? And I'm going to show you in this tutorial. So let's go ahead and create a new Juice project. So I'll just do that by going up and saying file, new project, and here we have our new project. I'll just create a plugin. We can just call this, I'll just call this sample, uh, sample plugin, and I will create it. Just put this on my desktop. And now I'm going to have a new project here that has all of my files. And what I could do is I could go up here to the settings and I'll show you this new setting here. Down here, it says, add using namespace juice to juice header dot H. And this is disabled by default. Okay, I'll show you what this means right now. So let's go ahead and open this up in our IDE. So we'll just click this center button and this will open our project up in Xcode. And here we are. So normally in a juice tutorial, if you've seen any of my juice tutorials in the past, we could just instantiate a juice object just by typing the name of the object. So for instance, if we had the slider class, we could normally just say slider like this, and we could just compile and it would work. But as we can see, we're going to get a build failed. And it says the error is unknown type name slider. Did you mean juice slider? And this is what I mean by using the juice namespace. In front of any juice objects or in front of any juice classes that we're instantiating, we would need to put juice in front of this class. So let's go ahead and try to compile it again. And we will see that we will now get build succeeded. Now the question is, why have they decided to do this? Does this not make things more complicated? The reason that they've decided to do this is because sometimes uh, you would get name collisions when you're using multiple libraries. So let's say, for instance, uh, just a hypothetical scenario that we had two UI classes that had a class called slider. When the code's trying to compile and we don't have any namespace in front of this slider, if we have two UI uh, kits that are both using the uh, class called slider, it wouldn't know which slider that you meant. Does it mean the juice slider or does it mean this slider from this other library? So that's the reason why they have made it where you need to put the namespace in front of it and specify that this is the juice slider. Okay, so I'm gonna show you a few little tips to help with longer uh, names. So uh, one of the things that I noticed when I f was first starting out, when you have these really long namespaces, it can get very long to read out. So for one, I'll give you one example here. So we said something like, stood unique pointer, and then we said juice, audio processor, value tree state, slider attachment, and I'll just call this attach one like this. Let's say we had a couple like this, right? And I'll do like this, and I'll just name them two and three. So I remember when I was first starting out, this looked like very long and very confusing to me. Okay, so one way that you can abstract this out is by using what's called the using keyword. So we could do something like this, using attachment equals, and then we can make that this long thing here. And then what I could do is now I can re within this, within the scope of this code with so within this header file anywhere where it says juice audio processor value tree state slider attachment i can now just replace that with attachment like this ok 
okay? And so sometimes that helps to clean up some of the code as well. But one thing that I'll say is in terms of best practice, it is best practice to use the juice, to put the juice namespace in front of the objects to prevent name collisions. For smaller projects, smaller plugins where you're not using any sort of external libraries, it's probably okay. But in general, it's best practice to use the juice namespace in front of these objects. Okay, so sometimes you'll see this like a using keyword. So using some word, some keyword equals this long bit of, uh, of nested code right here. Another way that, uh, that you could do this or another way that you'll probably see in some code bases is something like this, where the whole, where you could use namespace juice like this. And then you need to put closing parentheses like this. And now anything that's in here that is supposed to be a juice object, you can now, you don't have to put juice in front of it. Okay. Now, if I compile this, uh, what will happen is this will build, this build will fail because what I need to do is I need to do the same thing for the CPP file as well. Okay. So in, in general, it's, it, I guess it depends, but uh, in general, I wouldn't advise to really do this. But some code bases that I've seen have really nested namespaces, and they're very, very long. So sometimes you have to do this, where you have namespace juice, and then sometimes insi inside that you have some sort of other namespace, and that what this basically means is that anything in here that has a juice object, it'll automatically put the juice namespace in front of it. Okay. And let's try to build here, make sure that this build succeeds. Okay. We've got a fail unknown type name. Okay. So we just need to put juice in front of this as well like that. And now we should get a build succeeded. Okay, so now we got build succeeded just to show you that that works. Okay, so another thing that I'll show you, so let's just go out of all this back to the beginning. Okay, like this, is that another thing that you can do is you can actually enable the using, name, using namespace juice like this. And then we open up in our IDE and this will bring you back to the quote unquote old way uh, where you just instantiate uh, without needing to specify the juice namespace. But I would say in tutorials moving forward, what we will look to do is we will actually look to do this in the way that I would, that I've been told is the best practice, which is to use the juice namespace. So moving forward, we will now do it like this and use juice slider rather than just slider. So those are a couple tips to give you some help. I hope that that was helpful for you. And if you have any questions or if you have any better suggestions, please leave a comment below and I help and uh, don't forget to subscribe and drop a like on that as well. And I'll see you next time.